hold up. What is Chick doing in here? What the hell, Cassandra? Darren, are you sure you want this girl? Because she's nuts. Alright, hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of our Sims 2 Let's Play with Pleasant View. So, today we are wrapping up our introductions with the Dreamer family, which consists of Darren Dreamer and his son, Dark Dreamer. It says Darren is pursuing his dream of being an artist while his son, Dark, hits the books and Darren may have found his muse, but will his creativity be enough to win Cassandra's affection? So let's hop on in and see what the Dreamer family is up to. Alright, so here we are in the Dreamer household. And, sorry, I'm trying to maneuver my way around here so we can get a good look at them. This is Darren Dreamer. And it says, Darren Dreamer wants to paint for a living, but does he have the skills to pay the bills? Those past due statements are starting to pile up. Hmm. Alright, so before I give a house tour, while I'm here, I don't want to, like, resituate myself again. Let's go ahead and uh, look into all of their wants, whims, and all of that fun stuff. So, look at it, Darren Dreamer here. He is mighty handsome, if you ask me. He has the knowledge aspiration. He is about 15 days from becoming an elder. And he wants to buy a telescope costing at least $500. Get a job in the gamer career. Reach creativity level 8. And get a job in the medicine career. So, I'm confused. Why is it talking about him wanting to be a painter, you know? But then he has these wants to get two different careers. Uh, what? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. But anyways, his fears is to get rejected for playing with by Dirk, have a bad conversation with Dirk, and that Dirk gets a D report card. Alright, so his relationships um, is pretty good with his son. They're not really friends yet, but they're getting there. Um, he is crushing and in love with, and also best friends with, Cassandra Goth. Which is interesting because we've already played the goth household and we know that she is best friends with Dara, but she is not in love with him or really like crushing on him. So that's really cool that he is like in love with her, but the feeling's not mutual, you know? So obviously that's not something that can happen unless like the game sets it up that way with like their coding and everything. And he also knows Mortimer Goth and he considers Don Lothario. Don, huh? I got confused saying his name there. Don Lothario is his enemy. And that's also interesting to note because Don Lothario sees him just kind of like as a stranger or an acquaintance or whatever. The feeling's not mutual. He doesn't know that Darren hates his guts. But of course he hates Don because he's obviously engaged or was engaged to the love of his life, Cassandra. And I'm sure he hates him even more for breaking her heart. Alright, so if you look at their family tree, this is his wife, Darlene Dreamer. Her grave is actually out in the bag. We'll see that later. But that is Dirk's mother. So she has passed away, which is really, really sad. So he is a um, widower. He is unemployed. He has level 7 in the creativity skill. No other skills, though. <laughs> he is an Aries... And his bio says, Darren has missed his wife ever since her death. Will he ever get another chance at love? Alright, so his interest, he's not interested in money at all. So, you know, considering that he's in love with Cassandra Goth and he's not interested in money, whereas Don was supposedly in love with her but really interested in money, we know that Darren has a pure heart and he's just not interested in her money but in her as a person, which is really romantic. My heart can't take it. All right, so he's interested in health, food, um, you know, environment, culture, so-so, paranormal work, toys, sci-fi. All right, so let's look at his memories. All right, so there are memories of him growing up. He grew up well. He met Darlene as a child. He got an A-plus report card. He grew up well. He made best friends with Darlene as a teenager. Had a very first kiss with Darlene. Um, looks like his parents started to die. He grew up well. He fell in love with Darlene. He got a job. Got engaged to Darlene. Got a promotion. Got married to Darlene. Then he got demoted, had the woohoo with Darlene, had Dirk, then he got promoted again. He taught Dirk to talk, taught um, Dirk to use the potty, and then Dirk grew up well. Dirk got an A+. Darlene died, Dirk got a D. 
he quit his job and dirt grew up badly and then he fell in love with cassandra so that's interesting he fell in love with cassandra but i don't see any like note of them being best friends like with his wife it said that him and his wife became best friends usually that's in their memory so that's interesting his turn-ons is swimwear red hair which is like red hair is the opposite of cassandra goth but okay <laughs> and his turn off is mechanical all right so i think that's pretty much it here on mr darren let's have a look at his son dirk who is handsome as well he's got very beautiful blue eyes but this is a dark dreamer he is a teenager 13 ways for becoming an adult he has the fortune aspiration so he wants to earn some money get an a plus report card find a job make out with lilith and his fears are the death of darren a fire and that he gets a d report card all right so his relationships like i said so so with his father they're very close to becoming friends he is best friends and go and study with Lilith Pleasant, and he also knows Angela Pleasant. He is an A minus student in school, which we know that when he aged up, he was a D. He got a D on his report card, and he grew up badly, which obviously, kind of like with Dustin, we see how the death of his mom affected you know him growing up and everything and affected his grades but he has worked really really hard obviously he's made it up to an a minus so i think we can very easily get him up to an a plus possibly get him into private school because he's just like a very knowledgeable sim he wants to you know make a lot of money he wants to have a good career and a good life so possibly maybe if you know darren does really good painting and it can you know round up the money we make and get him into private school as well um he has a little bit in charisma one in logic he doesn't have many skills at all um he is a virgo his bio says though it's been hard without his mother dirk has made every effort to do well in all areas of his life he is interested in politics, money, food, health, culture, work, school, travel, sci-fi. Let's see, his memories. So he has memories of learning how to walk from his mother and to talk and be potty trained by his father. He grew up well. He met Lilith, got an A-plus report card. His mom died. He got a D report card. He grew up badly. So, yeah, just like... Dustin he was affected by his mother's death and that's interesting that they don't know each other I feel like they have a lot in common it could probably be friends even though he's kind of like a good kid um even though he grew up badly you know he's working on you know his life and getting a career and we know that Dustin you know wants to do that too but at the same time he's also a criminal um he made best friends with Lilith he had very first kiss with Lilith snuck out with Lilith and went steady with Lilith and made out with Lilith um, his turn-ons, brown hair, custom hair, and hats. All right, so yeah, that's about it for him as well. Which, you know what, I really like Dirk. And I've always thought that, I guess like with the Pleasant Sisters and Dirk and Dustin, it's kind of like opposites to track because you would think that Lilith and Dustin would be more into each other just because they're like both criminals. They both have a very hard upbringing. And you would think that Dirk and Angela would, you know, be better for each other because, you know, Dirk's a very smart, good kid as well as Angela. So, I don't know. I guess that's just a prime example of how opposites attract. So, real quick, let's give a tour of their house. They live in this nice little house here. Let's go up and get the full tour of it. Put the roof on here. So, yeah, this is the Dreamer house. We have this nice little backyard out here. And this is where Darlene Dreamer lays, or lies. <laughs> so yeah, that's really sad. She's out here in their backyard under a weeping willow tree. Um, there is no memory of like the fire, but it is interesting to know that like in Sims Wikia, you learn that she died in a fire. So the reason they don't have any memory of the fire is because they were not on the lot probably when the fire took place. But supposedly she did die in a fire. I think that's why, you know, Dirk has a fear of there being a fire and also the death of uh, his dad. He doesn't want to lose his dad the same way he lost his mother. So this is their house um, downstairs. They have this kitchen. 
uh, living and this is Dirk's room and here's a bathroom and as you'll see there are bills laying throughout the house that you know are stacking up that really need to be paid 268 255 um, and we have 968 so we really got to get on it <laughs> because they don't have oh there's some more how much are these 321 Darren I guess he lost his job, maybe because after his wife died, he's seen his son was taking it very hard. He just wanted to be home to, you know, look after Dirk. I'm not really sure. But this is Darren's room. And then over here, it's kind of like his studio because, you know, he wants to be a painter. So he's got his little paint studio and a bathroom up here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for a little tour introduction. So let's get into some gameplay. <laughs> Looks <laughs> like they're bonding, <laughs> listening to some jokes. Um, <laughs> He will be going to school shortly, and so I guess what we could do while we wait um, is come over here and use the restroom, and then we, well, paint. Let's just paint. I'm not used to playing The Sims 2 yet, so I clicked on the paint, and I was like, where are all my options? Like, I want to paint an abstract painting, but this is not The Sims 4, Carissa. So let's see what we can paint with our skill, which is level 7, and let's see how much it would be worth, because we really do need to start paying some of these bills. And here comes the rain. Lovely. Lovely. Just ruins everything. I feel like every time I jump into a household, it always rains. Oh, how realistic. All right, so we're going to let him paint a little bit. And what are you doing? Um, oh, yeah, get off the computer. You've got to go to school. I wonder if he'll bring Lilith home with him after school. We'll see. We shall see. I don't remember if that's something that happens. <laughs> I hope so because I really do want to see Lilith again. I miss her. Okay, so our phone is now ringing. It takes a long time in The Sims 2 to paint. In The Sims 4, it does not take a long time. It's really annoying me that it's taken so long for him to paint this one painting. So who is calling us today? Hello, you have been selected to try out our new magazine. Would you like to subscribe to the Arts and Crafts magazine? Okay, well, subscribe means that you need money to do that, right? And I don't have any money, so <laughs> no, thank you. If you would like to subscribe at a later time, please feel free to give us a call. Yeah, I will once I have, like, the money to do that. Okay, yeah, continue painting. Please finish. I just, I want to see how much this is going to be worth. Because, honestly, if this is what you want to do, but it takes that long for you to paint, I don't really know. Oh, Dirk brought a friend home from school today. Who did he bring home? I don't know this guy. Who is this? Hold up. Hold up. Who are you? Gavin Newsom. Okay. Well, I've never met you before. So, I was hoping it would be Lilith. But, I mean, whatever. We'll hang out with Gavin. Um, I guess you probably need to come down here and feed your son and yourself. Because you're kind of hungry. Kind of need some social skills. So let's come down here and serve some lunch meat sandwiches because you have no skills to cook. So that's great. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, Dirk, you need to, yeah, you need to have some fun. So go ahead and do that real quick. Or can you play with him? Yeah, go join him. Y'all hang out. Don't ignore your guest. That is rude. Um, I could have sworn that when you jump into the gameplay, either Cassandra Goth comes over or it, like, ask you or triggers you suggest you know that you invite her over but i haven't gotten that yet so i'm gonna give it a little bit and if it doesn't ask her to come over then i'm really wrong and what i read was wrong and i'd be very disappointed but i'm pretty sure cassandra's supposed to come over and if not like i said we're just gonna invite her over because he wants to see how she's doing he knows that you know she was left at the altar and she's been dealing with it very badly it's, it has not been good she's very heartbroken and he just wants to be there for her and see how she is doing so we have this nice present out here from mr freaking rod hubble he gets on my nerves popping up all the time all right so dirk all right is your fun how is your fun not going up from playing are you serious Let's see. Oh, okay, it is, but slowly. Okay, so Gavin Newsom, y'all aren't really friends yet, but that's good because I was concerned. He has really no friends besides the sisters. Um, who is this? Who is this? 
Okay. Well, we're not interested in you. We've got our eyes on Cassandra, so come again. <laughs> Alright, so you know what? I think I'm just going to have to invite her over because I'm not seeing any kind of, like, triggers to, like, have her come over. And he does need some social, so he's going to call up Cassandra and see if she wants to come over. Um, so let's call a sim. Do we have a phone downstairs or do we only have one upstairs? Oh, we do have one downstairs. Oops. Well, you need to pick that plate up when you're done. Okay, so we just invited Cassandra over. I'm not really sure. <laughs> How nice of you to invite me. I'll just gussy up and come right over. Okay, cool. All right, so you really need to get all of these plates and everything cleaned up. You know, you're about to have a girl over. How nice. He has made her some bologna sandwiches. What a keeper. <laughs> goodness okay so this is not getting his fun up at all or their relationship so you know what why don't you just come over here and play some video games instead because we got to work on your homework and everything but you need to get your fun up so what are you doing now oh uh, washing dishes okay i did tell you to do that hey cassandra okay so i think when we go back to cassandra's household we're gonna give her a makeover i said that i wasn't going to do that because i didn't want to like really mess with her but I can't take this girl serious with those pigtails. I really can't. Oh. Okay, so she looks a little bit better. She did show up at um, the Pleasant household just looking like a hot mess. A hot mess. So I'm glad to see that she's, she's looking good. She's looking good. She's happy. I, I wouldn't say happy probably, but she's come to terms with Don's a douchebag and it's just not gonna work out with between them and she just needs to move on so I don't know maybe she'll start to see Darren in a different way that she's never seen him before because she was just so completely blinded by Don so he's just talking to her sharing his interest I wish like we had the interactions that we used to have um, oh, they could slow dance, gesture, high five, earthly hug, kiss, kiss, darling. All cuddle under the clouds. What else could they do? Take my picture. <laughs> prank. No, let's not. Let's not prank her. Let's ask her. <laughs> How much money do you have? Let's ask her. Do you like what you see? Let's ask her what her sign is. Let's just see if like they're compatible or whatever. He asked her what she wanted, and she said, my want is to obtain a pet. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping that she would say, I want you. So let's have him get a little flirty with her and um, hold her hands and just kind of get romantic. I don't want to miss this. Oh, I'm missing it. How did I go so fast? <laughs> oh, so she just fell in love with him. It worked. I knew it. I knew it. I knew. I thought that it would ask you to, like, invite her over or say, oh, she's coming over. But I did know, hmm, <laughs> pro tip, <laughs> that if you flirted with her, that she would fall in love with him as well. So him really being there for her and just letting her know that, you know, he's there for her and... You know, she can do so much freaking better than Dawn. It just, she's seeing him in a new, oh my god, look at her. She's so happy. She's seeing him in just like a new way. And it's beautiful. It really is. I'm not going to like rush into their relationship right now because that's just not realistic. She did just get out of a relationship that evidently like really, really affected her and really hurt her. So let's have him grab a plate. He is still hungry. So... These lunch meat sandwiches are not doing anything for their hunger, not much. Where's he at? Up here eating. Okay, we'll clean up. And then we got to work on your homework. Um, yeah, let's do that. And he's got to, like, take a shower. He's got some issues going on here, but, yay, I'm so excited for him and Cassandra. I really am. <sighs> And I feel like, you know, playing these characters and playing their lives and their stories. Oh, my God. Hold up. Hold up. What is Chick doing in here? What the hell, Cassandra? Darren, are you sure you want this girl? Because she's nuts. She's still going nuts. Turns out she's not completely over it. She's in here with her flack of sour. Flack of sour. <laughs> Sack of flour. Oh my goodness, poor thing. She just, 
he can make you happy, girl. Don't you worry. See, I'm just, I'm not going to rush into it because she's not completely okay. Yes, she might love Darren in another, a new way now, like, more than a friend, but at the same time, he knows that he has to be very, very careful with her and her heart because she has been going through a hard time. So let's come over here and do your homework, Dirk. He's just going to clean up around the house. Oh my goodness. I don't know what we're going to do about these bills, though. I mean, we could marry Cassandra and have all of this <laughs> taken care of, but... Um, I don't know. It's kind of weird because Darren's not interested in money. And honestly, I don't see him, you know, living in a huge, ginormous house, you know, and really, like, moving into the goth household. I don't know. But I don't think Cassandra really wants to be there either because, you know, her dad is about to marry Dina. And I don't think she really cares for Dina. Probably finds that a little strange. So, you know, Cassandra, I mean, you know, I'm making plans here. If their relationship does take off... I think that they would move elsewhere and let Dina and Mortimer just take the house because we all know Mortimer is going to pass soon and Dina just really wants the money and she wants the house. So, yeah, that's that's just what I'm feeling is going, we're, what we're going for here. So, all right, well, how about Gavin is getting really late. So, come, um, let's say goodbye to Gavin. He doesn't even know Cassandra, so does he? Wait, hold up, stop. What? Stop! <laughs> no, he doesn't. So you need to come over here and talk to her. He hasn't even met Cassandra. She could be your new mommy. But let's not tell him that because I feel like... Oh, he doesn't like Darren? Well, then get the hell out of our house, dude. Nobody asked you. Rude. Okay, so... um, What are you doing? Going to play darts? Okay, that's fine. So yeah, let's just not let Dirk in on the hint that this could be his new mommy because I feel like that would like very much hurt his feelings. He's not ready for all that right now, but he does want to see his dad happy. So clean this up for her. Be a gentleman. Your daddy taught you well. All right, stop playing darts and let's come over here and talk to her a little bit more. So what can we do? What are some options? Come on, why does... Oh my gosh, I, you have to hit more like... 50 million times. Ooh, let's cuddle under the stars. I want to do that. Yeah, 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 let's do it. I forgot what that looks like. So let's see what cuddling under the stars looks like. Really, the chair is in your way. You can't do your homework. Well, you know what? Oh, my God. Seriously? Hold up. Oh, okay. So they're cuddling. Oh, my God. I love it. Look how sweet. Oh, I love it. She definitely needs a makeover, but nonetheless, I love Cassandra. I love them. This is really sweet. It's, like, very, like, innocent, you know, because I think they both realize now that they have a shot, and there is true feelings between, you know, them, and they just, they haven't made that step to, like, have a first kiss or anything yet. He's being such a gentleman and just being really respectful yeah, and careful gosh. with her heart okay. and oh, I love it I love it so much I'm rooting for these two I really am and as far as Dirk I'm not really sure what we're going to be mm -hmm. doing with him there are so many options I really do want to try to get him into private school because you know all the kids are like wanting to get into private school and I just feel like he wants to get into private school, so let's lock that. We can work on that. We know he can make out with Lilith soon, and he does want to earn some money. He can get a part-time job. That's something else that we could do that might really, really help with our fun. So, let's maybe we can do that. So, how do we do this? Find a job. When he gets done with his homework, we're going to see if we can find him a part-time job real quick. Or actually, we might do that in the next part. He's kind of sleepy. But yeah, I don't know, I just, uh, I don't know about him and Lilith. I mean, I just have mixed feelings about the the sisters and their boyfriends. I just feel like, uh, I do like Angela and Dustin because I like that she betters him. And she's the good girl trying to change the bad boy. But at the same time, I just feel like him and Lilith would have so much in common. And there's just no telling what's going to happen. And honestly, I don't know about Dirk and Lilith. I hope that I can help Lilith straighten her life out but right now Lilith is not interested in straightening her life out and he is so that may be a problem in the future I don't know we've got a long way to go to go guys we really do 
But with that being said, um, I guess they're done cuddling under the stars. Did Cassandra leave? Okay, so it looks like Cassandra has left and Darren is going to bed, which is fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up since, you know, this really was an introduction. And yeah, so you guys, let me know what you think about this family. What's going to happen with Darren and Cassandra? Do you ship it? Do you not? What do you think about Dirk and Lilith? You know, what What plans What plans should I be brewing up? What should I be working on here? Just let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and Cassandra didn't leave. Cassandra's still outside hanging out. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this part. Like I said, this is the last part where we will be introducing the families. The next part, we will be going full circle back around and really working on the storyline and brewing up all that drama and just seeing what comes out of it. I think this is a very fun, exciting Let's Play. Everybody seems to be enjoying it, which makes me really, really happy. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Thank you for watching. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Leave your suggestions in the comments down below. And subscribe if you have not. And I will talk to y'all later.